Kubota's Lachnikan joint, a mechanical joint for steel pipe piles and steel pipe sheet piles, is widely applied in various fields. Here, let us introduce the advantages of the Lachnikan joint. Conventional welded joints have the following problems. As the outside diameters of the steel pipes increase and the wall thickness of the steel pipes become thicker, it takes a longer time to join pipes together. The process control is difficult because the workability is sometimes affected by weather conditions such as rain and wind. The quality control is difficult because the construction quality is influenced by the welder's skill and the non-destructive inspection of the welded parts is required after welding. On the other hand, the Lachnikan joint makes it possible to join steel pipes together in only about 10 minutes, regardless of the outside diameters and the wall thickness of the steel pipes. Workability is not easily affected by weather, so the process control is easy. In addition, no qualified personnel or skilled workers are required for joining operations, which makes quality control easy and quick. Now, let us introduce the components of the Lachnikan joint. This is the box joint, which is attached to the lower end of the upper pile. The opposite is the pin joint. It's attached to the upper end of the lower pile. The part we call the load transfer key is used to connect both the box joint and the pin joint. These are the three main parts of the Lachnikan joint. The components also include rotation suppression keys that are attached to the outer surface of the pin joint to prevent the rotation of the joint section. Bolts that temporarily fix the load transfer keys inside the box joint before connection and bolts for pushing the load transfer keys to the pin joint side after connection. Next, let's look at the load transfer mechanism of the Lachnikan joint in cross-sectional views. Compression force is transferred at the contact surface between the box joint and the pin joint. The red parts in the figure are the contact surfaces. Tension force is transferred by the shear resistance of the load transfer key. This description shows the available sizes of the Lachnikan joint. We produce two models. The first model is the step type model, which is the lightweight model and has an enhanced removal function. It can be used for steel pipes with outside diameters of 400 millimeters to 1500 millimeters. The second model is the flat type model, and the outside diameter of the joint is the same as the outside diameter of the steel pipe. It can be used for steel pipes with outside diameters of 400 millimeters to 1600 millimeters, and with thicknesses of up to 30 millimeters. Both the step type and the flat type can be applied to steel pipe pile and steel pipe sheet pile construction methods. These include the pile driving method, the vibro hammer method, the center board pile method, the composite pile method of steel pipe pile and soil cement, the screwed pile method, and the press-in method. Let's look at the joining procedures of the Lachnikan joint. Vertically, drop down the upper pile onto the lower pile and insert the box joint into the pin joint. At this process, the load transfer keys are still stored in the box joint with bolts for temporarily fixing load transfer keys. Now, let's look at the actual construction. 
Insert the box joint so that the rotation suppression keys of the lower pile pin joint will fit the grooves of the upper pile box joint. At this time, slowly lower the upper pile while keeping it vertical. To check whether the previous process is appropriate, use the tool named the feeler gauge and put its tip over the gap of the joint. Move it around the pile along the gap. After checking that there is no space on the joint area, remove all bolts that temporarily fix the load transfer keys using a hexagonal wrench. Next, attach the bolts for the pushing and fixing keys and push the load transfer keys from the box side to the pin side. Use a hexagonal wrench to tighten the bolts for the pushing and fixing keys. There is no need for torque control, although depth control is necessary. Tighten the bolts with one hand, which is enough force. Finally, check that the load transfer key is at the appropriate position by using the depth gauge shipped with the Lachnican joint. Put the protrusion of the depth gauge in the insertion hole and put it on the head of the bolts for the pushing and fixing keys. After this, check there is no space between it and the outer surface of the joint. If there is an inappropriate space as shown in the yellow part in the figure, re-tighten the bolts for the pushing and fixing keys. Check all sections with the depth gauge. Then, the connection of the Lachnican joint is completed. Next, let's take a closer look at the advantages of the Lachnican joint through actual construction cases. Here is an example using the Lachnican joint when constructing a road bridge. In this case, the Lachnican joint was applied to ramp widening construction on an expressway in service. The construction site was close to the existing piers and there was an in-service elevated bridge overhead. It was necessary to join many short steel pipe piles in a narrow space. Therefore, the Lachnican joint, which helps to join the piles in a short time and can ensure stable quality even in a harsh environment, was employed and contributed to a significant reduction in the construction period. The next is an example using the Lachnican joint in railway construction. Most railway construction work is required to be done within a limited time frame at night when trains are not running. In this construction case in an urban area, the construction time was limited to only two hours when the feeder was down and the overhead clearance was restricted due to overhead wiring. In such demanding railway construction in terms of time and space, the Lachnican joint which makes it possible to join steel pipe piles together in a short time, was very effective and contributed to the quick completion of the piling work. The next is an example using the Lachnican joint for steel pipe sheet piles foundation in a river. Construction work in rivers is typically worked on during the dry season, so it is extremely important to complete work within the construction period. This project was also worked on during the dry season. In addition, there was an expressway running above this construction site, so the long steel pipe sheet piles could not be adopted. As a result, five short piles were joined to build a long pile. Since conventional welded joints require a lot of time for joining and inspection, the Lachnican joint was adopted, greatly contributing to the completion of construction during the dry season. At this site, it was necessary to pull out steel pipe sheet piles due to an unexpected underground obstacle. However, by removing and reconnecting the Lachnican joints, such work was done in the least possible time. 
The following is an example using a lactic and joint on temporary working platform columns for a crane in a mountainous area. In mountains, where weather changes frequently, construction management is one of the most important factors. Therefore, the lachnic and joint, which is not easily affected by the weather and facilitates process control and quality control, was adopted, helping the construction to be completed without delay. And next, let's look at an example using the lachnic and joint during port construction. In this construction, a large hydraulic hammer and vibro hammer from a pile driver barge was used, demonstrating that bearing capacity management can be performed in the same way as in weld joining. In future port renewal work, a shift from a long single pile to a jointed pile using the lachnic and joint will enable construction using a small pile driver barge, leading to cost reduction. Finally, let us introduce the overseas case study of Japan's grant aid project. This project was a replacement of an aging road bridge. The annual rainfall there is more than twice that of Tokyo, and since squalls occurred almost every day, it was assumed the construction would be interrupted frequently. In addition, there were few skilled welders in this area, and ensuring the quality of the joints was a major issue. In order to solve these problems, the lachnic and joint was adopted for the first time in overseas construction. In addition to ensuring stable quality, it contributed to a significant reduction in construction time under severe weather conditions. There are three optional parts for the lachnic and joint to support various construction methods. The first optional part, named the protective cap, is to protect the pin joint from external pressure during construction. Cover the pin joint with it before construction to prevent damage to the pin joint. It is used for the pile driving, vibro hammer, center board pile, and other methods. The second optional part, named the stop ring, is used to prevent the bolt for pushing and fixing keys from loosening due to vibration during piling, and also to prevent the load transfer key from pulling back. It is used for the pile driving, vibro hammer, and other methods. The third optional part is a hard lock nut. This prevents the rotation suppression key's mounting bolt from loosening during construction and the rotation suppression key from falling off. It is used for the pile driving, vibro hammer, screwed pile, and other methods. Let's look at the procedure for installing the protective cap. Align the protective cap with the pin joint. At this time, as with the lachnic and joint, set the protective cap so that the rotation suppression keys on the pin side will fit the grooves of the protective cap. After setting, attach the slide keys left and right in one slide key insertion slot to secure the protective cap to the pin joint. Next, attach a cushioning material so that the slide keys will not shift. After this, close the slide key insertion slot with a magnet sheet, tape, or rubber tube to prevent the cushioning material from falling off. Once these tasks have been done on all slide key slots, the protective cap installation is complete. The protective cap can be easily removed by reversing the installation procedure. Let's look at how to remove the lachnic and joint. First, remove all bolts for pushing and fixing keys. If optional stop rings are used, remove the stop rings first.
Next, use a high pressure washer to discharge the earth and sand that have entered the load transfer keys and the surrounding areas if necessary. After washing, attach bolts with butterfly nuts to the load transfer keys and pull back the load transfer keys. If the load transfer keys cannot be pulled back, clean the load transfer keys in their surrounding areas with the high pressure washer again to discharge the earth and sand that have accumulated inside the lacnican joint. Once all load transfer keys have been pulled, the joint is ready for removal. If the upper pile does not pull up, the load transfer keys may not be pulled back to the end. Clean the areas with the high pressure washer again and pull back the load transfer keys. At this site, it was necessary to pull out the piles several times due to underground obstacles. But the easy removal and reconnection of the joints made it possible to complete the construction without significantly extending the construction period. The Lacknickin joint has been highly evaluated by public institutions for its high quality, workability, and ability to support any construction method and has acquired various certifications. Kubota's Lacknickin joint, which has been applied in various cases, will continue to improve the construction of steel pipe piles and steel pipe sheet piles with its usability and extensive response capabilities.